My name is John Freeman, and I'm the editor of Tales of Two Americas, Stories of Inequality in a Divided Nation. It depends on the book I'm writing. Um, you know, this, the book that I'm here talking about, the Tales of Two Americas, uh, I put a little bit of myself in the introduction because I, I wanted to kind of lead readers up to the, the edge of the of the water we were going to sail across, you know, one, one stroke at a time by these 36 writers. And I needed them to know that um, I was the person bringing them there and why. Um, not to stop. <laughs> it seems obvious. Uh, I didn't uh, obey that advice. Um, I wrote some poems like everyone does in their awkward teens, mostly to go on dates. I uh, didn't get into the poetry workshop at the college I went to and figured I must not be a poet and stopped. Um, I wish I hadn't. I didn't have much to say, I think, in those interim years, but life caught up to me and I wished um, I had kept up because my technique, I think, would have been polished by the time I had content that needed to be said. So even if what you're writing seems boring to you or if it seems unimportant, you are doing something useful. Um, you're preparing yourself for the moment when um, life or something else broadsides you and you need to write. Uh, bewilderment. Um, it's a nice word, it kind of rolls off the tongue and kind of does a loop-de-loop. -loop. You almost feel like you have to keep your arms and, and limbs inside the machine as it trundles off into the tunnel of itself. Some people, you know, like James Baldwin, um, I think he found a way to sound like himself. And that sounds slightly facile, but I think one of the best things an SAS can do is sound only like themselves. So you feel like when you're reading an essay by him or Annie Dillard or Joan Didion or, or Zadie Smith, um, you, found, you feel like you're being spoken to by those people. Mm -hmm. 